right there. So uh, you want everybody in the world to be calling you Pappy. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. I, I am. I am your Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> now you're. Um, you're. You're an Aussie. Where are you from? I'm from um, Canberra, like near Sydney. I don't know if you've heard. Of course, of I'm from of course. Sydney. Oh, you are. Of course, I'm. I'm from Sydney, mate. You, why you could live, you not you tell live, from my accent? No, I can now. I didn't know that. I didn't not realize that you were Australian before, but are you Australian? Yeah, are yeah. You? I'm from Sydney. Yeah, I'm from Burwood, mate. Um, and of course I know Canberra. We used to go there for school, school, school camps you, and I stuff. Bet you and miss, go to the I War you, Memorial. I bet you miss it there. <laughs> <laughs> I, do I miss Canberra? Absolutely oh, not. Do you miss Canberra? You're in London. Zero, zero. I miss family and that's it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. Um, so Kocic, your last name, is that Croatian is my guess? Um, Serbian. My my um, dad's sub family is um, Serbian. Yeah. So my, um, my dad, okay, got it. My dad's parents came from Serbia to Australia and had my dad and his sister and yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And how long how long have you lived in London now? Uh, I've been in London for like four years now. Sorry, I just got to turn my phone on. So, yeah, I've been on. I've you good, mate? Take your time. I've been in um London for like four four years now. Coming up to four years. Okay, cool. Yeah. Move, move now I want to talk about the the tongue. You you are the tongue <laughs> of TikTok. I know. You are I the know. tongue. So random. You are the tongue god. I want to talk about it because I get a lot of questions and I get a lot of comments about it. And it's uh, people often say like, "Oh, my husband eats like that." My mother in law Tracy, she eats like that. Like she has a, a an early tongue. Yeah. And I'm wondering for you, was it natural? And then somebody yeah, said so to you, "Mate, you you've got this tongue." This page started. <laughs> yes, please. So I had another TikTok account, and it was um. You know, I think TikTok's a bit um, sensitive and it was just, I was just having a hard time with it. I was banned for a while and I was like, oh shit, we just came out of lockdown. We're in London. And me and my partner, we went to a food market and we're like, oh, I was like, just, I was, I, it was just so random. She's like, I'm going to film you just eating. And then she took a video and I was like, I'll oh, just take a video of me eating this last part. Cause it was like, a, it was a burrito and it was really, it was dripping. It was dripping. And I was like, trying not to get it on me. And I literally, I didn't mean to do anything. I just ate it. That's how I eat. And I just ate it, and then this video went viral, and I was like, "What the? Why? I had no idea, you know." And people were making and people, and because I'm hunched over and trying not to get juices on me, I'm like, it, it, people were doing like um, Quasimodo, like hey, look, this guy looks like Quasimodo, or they're like, "Oh my god, he's so hot! Look at that tongue!" But I didn't understand the tongue thing at the start until a couple of days, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, wait up a second, that's so weird," and I was like. It's just, I don't know, it's just how, like, it's literally just how I eat. It's a bit I'm exaggerated at the moment, a little bit, but. <laughs> well, you've got to sell it. I mean, I, but I understand because people do eat like that. They have a tongue that comes out earlier than they than it needs to. And so you've had this happen naturally. This is how you eat. But it just turns out, like, people, it's very sexual. Yeah, people love it. People just love it. Or they really hate it, which is fun as well. <laughs> <laughs> you handle that very well. Like, uh, you know, like I, I want to congratulate you on that. Like if I, I mocked you about it and you like took it really well, you had a laugh. And then there are people who like, come on, like one, somebody was like the other day was saying like, I think he's turned me gay or something. And yeah, so it was a girl. It was like, I think he's turned me, turned me oh, lesbian. Then, and and so you yeah, were like, girls say that as well, yeah, I think yeah okay, you turned uh, me lesbian and you're like, yeah, well, fine. Good. You, bye. You know, how, like, you know how we're <laughs> trying to make viral content. I think people get into the comment sections trying to do those viral comments. So it's like you see the same comments over and over again, maybe because they did that comment on someone's post and got a thousand likes and they want to get that thousand likes again on another video. So they'll just yeah. literally repeat themselves, which is pretty You're right. Funny. There are people who yeah. even who even take comments from the same video and repeat them just yeah, to right. like get yeah. thousands of likes. Yeah, yeah, it's like lame, yeah. very yeah, lame. It's really, it's really, it's really odd. It is really but odd. you're very, it's, I mean, it's this, this, the tongue thing has worked out for you. How many followers do you have? I don't know. I'm reaching like, it's, I'm close to like 750 K. <laughs> it's been pretty crazy. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Uh, and uh, I can, I, can I ask what's like, food. your attitude seems pretty good. Like you laugh at it. You think it's a bit funny yourself? Yeah, I do. I do. I think it's very funny. When you, when I, when I watched your videos, I was like, oh my God, I did that video and I was like, showing everyone i was showing people like look at this look at this you know this is so funny you know especially that first one i was getting tagged in it all the time i did those two videos like back to back and i was just like 
this is amazing. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> and amazing. And what do your I friends, had... what do your friends think? Nothing, nothing. Like I, I had one friend that was like, <laughs> he was like, Oh, like, cause I didn't, it's not like I like talk about it. I'm not like, Oh, check out my TikTok this or that. Like if they see it, they see it. If they don't like, I don't I'm not trying to like put it in their face yeah. or anything like that. No, like, no. Yeah. Just like anything I do. But, um, I had one mate and I think he saw your video before he saw my page and then he got onto my page. He was like, Oh my God, this is my friend. And he was like angry at you. <laughs> he was like, and I was yeah. Like, I mean, I like, Bro, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. I mean, you have to expect it when you like the things that you do with the tongue, like you're going to expect people to like yeah. either like be like be into it and love it and be aroused by it or just people to be like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. like yeah, it's going to be like, like that. A lot of kids will be like, mom i'm scared or <laughs> i'm like oh my god <laughs> yeah now uh, what's your if you don't mind me asking uh, uh you, you just said your partner is uh is a woman you have a you have a girlfriend yeah well, we've been together like seven years oh wow okay uh and i wanted to ask because I, obviously i did some digging and I, I wanted yeah. to ask you about this because i'm absolutely fascinated by it now you have an only fans account it, does, it seems to do pretty damn well and i read your what your bio of like what you do. Yeah. Uh, so would you consider yourself bi or what do you yeah. consider yourself? I'm, bi I'm bisexual, bisexual male, bisexual got dom, dom top. <laughs> if you go to my Twitter. Bisexual <laughs> dom top. Okay. So that means so that you dominant. I, I'm just clarifying. Top. Yeah. Yeah. Like right. So you do not take it and you're the one who gives it. Got it. Okay. And then what, how do you find, I mean, how long have you been on learning fans? How long have you been so far? I've been on here for like, not, not even that long. And I've only been doing like content with other people for like the last six to seven months. So it hasn't been that like, okay. still fairly new, but I've been on only fans for about two years, sort of since like COVID hit. And I was already like, my Instagram page was already a bit like, you know, cause I was into fitness into fitness but not into like i don't like the um like a lot of fitness influencers get on there and they're just like preaching or this is the one way to do it or this and that and like they're acting so like perfect and they laugh so perfect and i'm like i hate that i just hate it but i love fitness so i always took like photos mm -hmm. and stuff and it was a little bit risque because that gets more likes and stuff but um totally when when COVID hit I, like I lost my business and like lost the, like little side hustles and all that sort of stuff. And I was just like, fuck, I just started getting like unmotivated and a little bit depressed and sad. And my partner was, it was my partner's idea. She was like, why don't you do anything? And I was like, all right, are you okay with that sort of thing? We had a discussion and talked about it. And she's been like the main drive of it. Like, like giving me like a mm. motivation to do it and stuff. So yeah, it's been really good. Okay. So up until like seven months ago, it was just you, uh, yeah. just you, you know, doing whatever people were asking you to do, you know, jerking off or whatever that would, it would just, yeah, just you. Much. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Just me. I, yeah. Not even, not even, doing and what, she, not, not even doing what other people ask me to, cause I'm, I'm, I'm your puppy. You know what I mean? So I, you do what I ask you to do. Got it. <laughs> That's why you're dumb. You're a dumb, you're a dumb puppy. You like, don't, don't tell me what to do. I yeah, tell you yeah, what to do, yeah. or I give you what I think you want. Exactly and then does your right. girlfriend get involved? Is she ever involved in any of this stuff with you? No, nah, just, just sometimes she'll help to film stuff and like take, she takes photos. She's a really good photographer and video and good at taking videos and stuff. So just that side of stuff. Like I assume of, that it is her taking your tongue videos. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. She loves it. Man. Amazing. Like, when we, we went to a food festival just recently, like that's all my recent ones. And like, we'll go and she was like, Oh, like this, like there's an oyster place here. And I was like, Oh yeah. And she's like, do this. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Like, it was, oysters like, very, perfect. I know oysters are, they love it. They love the oysters <laughs> and the sushi. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm what a woman this. though. She sounds great. She sounds she's, so great. She's amazing. She's she's absolutely amazing. She's really cool. Girl. Um, is she, are you thinking you would marry her? Yeah, I want to marry her. She's she's definitely good. One. It's just like I don't know. It's just been like such a um, it's been such a journey this last four years in London and stuff, and like we do a lot of traveling yeah. and this and that. So it's just 
you know, they've certainly recently come onto my radar, like, oh, shit, I should, like, at least propose. Like, I don't know about getting married. I'm not in too much of a rush to get, like, married and get that whole legal side of the thing. Like, I just... Yeah. Weddings and stuff don't really appeal to me, but putting a ring on the thing is different. different yeah, but it, and it's a sign of commitment. Mm-hmm. And also, you know, it is pretty amazing to find a woman who is as supportive as your girlfriend sounds of what you do. Not a lot of women would just embrace that not a lot of partners in general would embrace that and uh so and the the way that she encourages you and films you it's like wow this woman's a keeper mate yeah she's an absolute keeper that's why i'm like at the moment yeah it's a big it's a big thing in my head at the moment i'm like oh but it's been like i think i've taken it for granted for so long because we've been together for so long so i'm like and like with everything going on at the moment i'm like yeah shit like yeah it's more about the um, commitment. yeah, mate. It's about, about the commitment side of everything. Just showing that I'm serious about it, and not just like try like taking it for advantage, like taking it for um, to- granted. Sorry, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, look, here's the thing: like, if you're thinking about it, she's definitely thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. So let me t- let me ask you this because you're messing around on on OnlyFans with you do guys and girls now right so you do your and and is that like fully fledged i don't understand it i'm not on only fan i mean i'm not i don't participate in it but is that fully fledged sex yeah 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 so i do like storylines and stuff like that and like yes yeah, full it's full sex and then photos mm. and stuff and then we do like some fun content for like um uh for for like for, for tiktok and Twitter and all that mm-hmm. sort of stuff, yeah. So you can find like lots. Yeah, of and what do you mean? Sure. What do you mean storylines? Like, is there as in there's an actual story going on here? Like, yeah. So like, um, depends on the person. Like, we did. I did one. I was in Amsterdam on the weekend, and I did a collaboration with um this other. He's a really big content creator, and he's like really well known in the gay community. And we did a mm-hmm. scene where it was like you know like I invited him back from from the gym, and we did like some. Because we filmed this one, I normally have a video of like someone to help film. I find it a lot easier. But we did one scene mm-hmm. where like this is the first time doing a story with just the two of us, so it was like new for me. But we took different parts where it was like you know like we we're I was like oh yeah let's go upstairs we'll make a shake and then we're like like when he bends over I'm like looking at him and when I like I get some milkshake on me and he like touches me and I was like oh shit and then it's like yeah, yeah we just go with that sort of thing. Just to like yeah, and how it, do you make it more enticing for the people and like make it more? Because I feel like a lot of people on OnlyFans, they just set up a tripod and they like face in the bed and they just like sort of go for it. And I'm like, that's a bit boring for me anyway. Yeah, it's a bit boring and like you want to, well, you want to make it interesting for yourself too, not yeah. just for them. They don't, they don't, they probably don't just want sex. They wouldn't mind like a little bit of anticipation, right? Yeah, exactly right. So, like, even, like, when I do some things with girls, like, I did one with a girl, like, a few, like, a month ago, and we did a, um, it was, like, a maid scene. It was sort of the same sort of thing where she was, like, she was wearing a sexy maid outfit, and I was on my computer, and it was, like, she was, like, cleaning, and she was sort of flirting with me and stuff like that, and then there's a bit of back and forth, and she's, like, oh, I've got this, I can't get this out of the bench sort of thing, you know, <laughs> and I'm, like, oh, you need a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are you coming up with these storylines? Like, yeah, I come up with them. Uh, is yeah. it you, your ideas? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Because most of the people that I work with and then don't, what... don't want to put in that extra effort. They just want to, like, film. Mm. So they just show up and be like, oh, yeah, what do you want to do? And I'm like, all right, well, this is my idea. What do you think? And they're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Now, what's that, what's that like when they say, like, what do you want to do? Meaning, like, when you when it does get to the sex stuff, do you decide, like – how do you guys negotiate that? Um, or do you just do what you want to do? Like, and just have sex with them? Yeah. Well, sometimes it's like, um, say, say we, we're like at a different hotel or something. Like if we're at my house or if we're at a hotel, I'll look at the, like where we're going to shoot. And then I'll be like, Oh, this position would be really hot here. And we can get some really good mm-hmm. angles here doing this sort of thing. And then like, also like, um, like you get a lot of requests from fans, like, oh, I'd love to see this or I'd love to see this sort of thing. So I'll always keep that like mm-hmm. in the memory bank and then I can be like, oh, yeah. this fan did ask for that and that would be really perfect for this situation or like that sort of thing. Like, but it's always like mm-hmm. when, when I'm in front of the camera, I'm very like, um, 
passion and, and dominant sort of at the same time. So it's very like, there's a lot of energy and like a lot of, like, I think that's why mm -hmm. my, um, my only fans are so well is because most of my fans are like, oh, I love the energy you give off and like the vibe that you have and like how, how much it just flows and how easy it is. It's all, all of the above. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you're doing it, like, is it like, oh, I want to do this? Like, is it like, oh, like, like you would normally having sex with somebody like, oh, I really want to do this. I want to get behind. I want to eat you out. I want to, you know what I mean? Like, are you, are you doing that? Are they doing that yeah. too? Like, how yeah, does that there work? Is, there is, a, there is a lot of that. Cause like, because we want to keep it natural. So it's a lot like, look, this is what, this is how it's going to sort of flow. But on the way to yeah. these flow spots, we'll just do whatever. And we sort of just go with the flow. So it just like keeps it more natural. And it's not like, oh, shit, I was meant to be doing this. Oh, no, you know, like, so it's just really. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to studio. Yeah, that's stuff. cool. So. Yeah. Go, yeah. So, so studio stuff is really directed, is it? It's not like up to yeah. the people. Well, it depends. Yeah. Like I've, I've only just started doing, I started doing studio stuff like um, a few months ago. I got I was always wondering, like, if I, I was, like, I'm in an iron about getting into the studio stuff. And then this, like, mm -hmm. one of the um, top directors in, like, the world for studio work, he, like, he, he approached, he hit me up on uh, Twitter. And was like, I've got this role and it's perfect for you. Like, think about it. And I was like, how much are you going to pay? And he was like, this man. And I was like, oh, well, in my head, I was like, that's a low ball. So I, like, went heaps far up. And they're like, let me get back to you. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. I was like, oh, shit. Yes. But the role, yeah, the yes. role, because I was like, I'm in an iron about it, but I was like, the role was so perfect in the story, like everything, and working for this company was like, I was like, oh, wow, like the director's just amazing, so he flows a lot really well, but I've heard bad stories about like other directors and other spots, like not bad, bad, but just like different methods of working, so he flows mm. really well, which is why we get along really well and we create really good content and like why I've sort of signed up exclusive with this company. So yeah. Oh, cool. Been, yeah. Meaning flowing, like flowing, like, Oh, what feels good here? Would you like to go yeah, here? Like discussing it with you rather than. Yeah. Where he's like, well, this would like, like what I said about my, like the only fan stuff when I'm, when I was directing, it's like, okay, these sort of positions would be cool to do. And then he says the same sort of thing. He's like, just do that and like get there. And because when you're mm. in, when I'm in front of the camera, but it depends. Like sometimes I'll be like, you, because it's not like it's so much different to like sex. It's just not the same. It's not as like, yeah, you know what I mean. It's just, you be there, and yeah. you're like in your head, like where's the camera? Where's this? And it's like, oh, how long have mm -hmm. I been doing this for? Like, has it been ten minutes? Has it been two minutes? It's like, so yeah, like, I'll, yeah, I'll get like them to like do like little signals or like just the, cause you can cut stuff out pretty easily. Yeah, sure. Well, how does that work? Like, because sometimes they like, we want a five minute sex scene or we want a 20 minute sex scene. That would be completely different to shoot and to think about for, as the actor. Yeah. So how does that work? Well, I mean, all my, all the scenes that I do are a minimum of 15 minutes. So like, they're all like 15 to some of them mean like Got 30 it. minutes. <laughs> Those ones that are really flow. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy. It's like, yeah. Your control must be like insane. Are there like exercises for that? Yeah, like, how do you pretty much, pretty get much good at that? Literally, just like edging. You have you heard of edging, where you're like, of course, play of course. with yourself until you get to that point, and then you sort of like stop and just it's just pretty much that, and it's just like breathing, like really breathing, and trying not to like think about that too much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and how do you breathe? Like it's in through the nose, out as a specific, yeah, or are you just exactly breathing like and just that. thinking just like about pretty breathing? Pretty much, just like if, it depends. Like, however, it's natural to you, as long as it's like sort of deep breaths, without being like too obvious that you're <sighs> sort of breathing, it's holding like, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, and also just changing around if you are, if you are getting to that point. Like you know, like even in, I feel like even when you're naturally just doing it off camera. Yep. If you want it to last longer, you can always just like change the positions and like tease them a little bit totally. or like do this or that and a bit of foreplay and mm -hmm. that always always helps i think yeah and then now like so so the percentage of guys versus girls that you're doing for only fans how often is it men how often is it women so at the moment it's um because of the, the the gay gay people are really like there's a lot of people on my only fans that love the boy girl stuff but majority of people love the boy boy stuff and I only do like 
I only aim for like two collaborations per month. So it's not like I'm doing scene after scene after scene every single week or anything like that. Yeah. It's like every two weeks I'll do a scene or like whenever someone is in town, that's like really well known or has a good profile, has like a, um, like does it creates content that I really like and I feel like we can work together really well. Just like sort mm-hmm. of like wait for that. So it's like more quality over quantity. And yeah. Yeah. Got it. And then how's the tech? Like, do you, te- you have to test often? I mean, it, like, do you have to yeah, get test- STD tests fairly often? Well, in, it depends where you are. Like when, when I, when I do the studio stuff, cause it's in Barcelona and their rules in Barcelona are um, every two weeks you need a test. So for that, I'll get mm-hmm. tested before I go. And then <clears throat> in London, there's um, a really good place called Dean street and they're just like amazing. But like you just get tested once a month and yeah. Just go in okay, there. cool. But- now what do you, what what do you prefer if you were to choose one, and you like not either guys or girls? What would you choose? It depends. It really depends. When if you're talking about for a scene, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not in real so, life. I'm just so, talking about for so work. For, for for work, I know a lot of the a fair few of the girls that I've worked with recently have been have been really good. So for OnlyFans. If if you take it out, if you take away the money, then it's hard. Like everyone that I've worked with, it's like so different. Like it, do, I always say mm-hmm. this: it's like more of a like because you know how you say like, what would you rather an Aussie or an American? It's like well, you can't really say that because one Aussie is different to one American. Like you could have a really good Aussie and a really you yeah. Know? So it's like the same with boys and girls. Mm-hmm. You know, like you could have really good chemistry yeah. with a boy, and then not with that girl. But then the next girl, you have really good chemistry, and the next boy's like shit. So it's really like a person to person basis more than anything. Like I think I just get along like all my scenes with both of them. yeah. It's us. Oh, so it's a, you're really like quite you don't really know. You're yeah, like I'm really, into yeah. both. You really yeah. are. And what's it like after a day of shooting when you come back to your you know, your missus if she hasn't been there, um, or or whatever, like what's it like? Do you have to is, have you got a little ritual down? Like you need to like spend some time with uh, each other no, and kiss each other. Like, is there any feelings of jealousy we're, there? We're figuring out that part because it is still really new to her. She does handle it really, really well. But then like at the very start, she was actually mm-hmm. helping me to film like full scenes. So like she, un- got she understands how hard it can be to get the content, to mm-hmm. perform that well, to like shoot it, to do everything. So she really understands that it's like not, like not like the most pleasurable thing. It's not like you're going and just meeting up with someone and having sex and then leaving sort of thing. So you go in there and you, yeah. you've got a lot of thoughts and like, Oh, you got to get these angles and do all this sort of stuff to make this content for your fans to enjoy. So she understands it from that point, but recently it's been just me doing it with like, now I've got a, um, cause she, her work got really busy. So she can't actually help. So got I've got like a mate that helps me film most of the time. And then like, so like at the moment it's more like she's got to process it in her way. So we're sort of figuring out how, because she does still handle it really well, but because like I'll, sometimes, and, and because of social media, it's like there's so much going on on social media. So sometimes I'll get home and I'll be like behind on some work that I need to do. So I'm like sort of, Mm-hmm. not giving her enough attention where, where I should just leave my phone and give her more attention. So I'm still learning to process everything myself to be there for her more. So there is this like yeah. massive learning curve and it's like, it can be hard and it can be like, sometimes it's, it feels like so good and easy. And then some days it's like, Oh shit, I didn't feel, I didn't understand that you felt this way. And I'm so sorry. Like, let's talk about it more. It's more about just communication, right? Like always talking about Yeah, totally. Feeling. I talked to a relationship. Yeah, exactly. I, re- I talked to a relationship coach about this yesterday and like how important it is that, you know, even when you have work going on, um, if you just take 10 minutes, like you, if you can push your work back 10 minutes yeah. and just sit with your partner and just like hold them and love yeah, them, yeah. like look at them, talk to them, just take that 10 minutes to put the phone away and like get rid of it and go, I, I, I swear to God, I could, this work, this work can wait. Yeah. And that's probably a good idea. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. going like, I, I know I've got this stuff to do, but if I spend time with you for 10 minutes, that's worth more to me than that work anyway. And it's a hundred percent, hundred percent. And it can be that easy. And then it can be I, that. 
yeah. Sometimes you like, and then you sometimes you'll nail it. Like you will do that, and then you just sort of mm-hmm. just, like because everything feels so good, and you just sort of forget about it. You know, when everything's going good and laughing, you just sort of like going through, and then something <laughs> disaster is happening. Like, oh, oh my god. Can't yeah. Like that well, you deal with things when they're emerge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You deal with things when you're when 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 they're, they're an emergency. Whereas, like, if you just make it a ritual, like it's something right. that happens yeah, whenever you two exactly. get. You should, that's up to her too, because she's going to work now as well. So that every time you get, she gets back from work or you get home from work, it's like ten minutes. Let's go right now. Yeah, How just, are you? What's been going on in yeah, your day? Exactly. What are you worries? What are you stressed yeah. about? What are you excited about? Let's yeah. go. You yeah. know, or just staring at each other in the eyes, yeah. because it could be interesting. You know, what you do is very intimate whether it actually is or not, it is quite an intimate still thing. Intimate like, thing, yeah. so uh, eye staring is good. Like looking at each other in the eyes for a prolonged period of time, yeah. just to reconnect. Um, I have, uh, but a, a question about that. Are you guys exclusive? Um, like out off camera or how does that work? Yeah, well, we are. We, I, I say that I'm like polyamorous for my fans and stuff. Like I am, I guess in a way I'm, mm-hmm. we are po- in a polyamorous relationship. I don't go out. Like I don't, I don't party. I don't drink. I don't like. Got it. Yeah. So I'm not like in those situations where I'm like out there, like fucking around sort of thing. So it's very much me and her on weekends and just doing cute stuff. And she goes out like, even, yeah, when, she, nice. even when she goes out on the weekend with her friends, I'm like, <clears throat> Oh, maybe I'll call a friend tonight and like go out. And then I'm like, Oh, no, I'm just going to stay at home and watch a movie and get like order some takeout. <laughs> you know? I'm very just like, yeah, I mean, you I'm time, a, you time is important. Yeah, though. it is. It is right. Like, I feel like yeah. I get a lot of it, but at the same time, sometimes, I don't know, you, sometimes you're um, preoccupied with work and work thing. So it's not like you're actually having new time. You're preoccupied with things. I guess you, yeah, you, exactly. You um, seem like you work a lot, like you're doing a lot of content, like you've got a lot of ideas, you execute them. Like I get, I've been getting a lot of inspiration from the amount of work that you put in. Cause since we've become friends on TikTok, TikTok gives me like, I've seen so much of your content. And I'm like, Whoa, <laughs> you, like you're doing, a, you're doing a lot. It's amazing to see. Yeah. Like, I do. I do a lot. And, uh, you know, it's really important for me. Like when my, I've got a son, so, and, and a wife. So it's really important for me because, you know, if fo- if the phone is your work, then you always have the phone, then you can always go and work. I know, right? So the ability cool. to put it down. Yeah. So the ability to put it down and just go, like I said, the 10 minutes thing and just go 10 minutes, pure engagement with my wife or my son, that means the world. So you- like, um, but if it's always in your hand, then you're like, you can always do work and it's just completely distracted. Right? But, but all in all, like, would you say that you really enjoy this like is this the path that you think you're going to go down for the next five ten years yeah, definitely yeah i feel like it's um good just something like um, i'm really good at it and like I, it's a hard one because like i for so long like i when before i came to london i was a um carpenter i got my builder's license i was doing building and i had my own oh, company wow. i had people working for me this and that but i always like didn't really enjoy it that much and then Fitness was a big one for me, but I was like, I don't want to be a PT. I don't want to be in that, in that space where you're like, oh, this is the only way to do it. Or like trying to, I don't know, preaching good behavior. Cause I don't, I'm not like a saint. I like have a splurge a lot. I'm like this and that. So I'm like, I can't do that. It doesn't yeah. feel right to me. And then since I started doing this and getting more into it, I'm like, I don't know. My partner's even like, you're so happy. Like you, you found something that's like, you're, you're good at it and you're getting like a lot of like this, the right sort of respect from it and like finding your way. And mm. just, I don't know. It just makes sort of sense, especially at the moment with everything going on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good. And if you don't mind me asking, because I'm always so intrigued and I've heard these numbers, but like, and you can feel free not to answer, but how much are you making on OnlyFans? Uh, like a decent amount. <laughs> it goes up and down. Yes. It goes up and down. It depends as well, like because there there is a lot of like um work you got to put in, and like you got to be on all the socials. So like, like and even like with TikTok, because you can't, you can't obviously you can't be like, hey, go check out my OnlyFans. You can't mention that. Like when I when I first yeah. started getting into it, I found it very hard to like find, like create a because i was on instagram that was my main platform my instagram my big my my main instagram the one i think we message on actually got deleted at one point because 
I would, I'd put like, like even for saying something like, or oh, check out my new. You good? You good? So like even for saying, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. So even for yeah, saying even, like, oh, check out my new content, IG would take it down. Yeah, they would like get me in trouble. So so like couldn't do anything. So even like after six months of being on OnlyFans, I'd have fans be like, they're, they're like, I've been following you for three years, and like, how did I know you had OnlyFans? I'm like, oh, cool. yeah, I'm not allowed to talk about. It. <laughs> I can't tell anyone. Like even now to this day, I get, I'm, I've been on there for two years, and people will be like, I've been following you for so long. And I can't like I finally found your only fans. I'm like, what the fuck? So it's like really, it is. I mean, tap on the link in the bio. Uh, and people are always like, oh, how do I like? Even on TikTok, <laughs> they're like, Twitter. What's this guy's Twitter page? I'm like, the like, how do people not know that every single whether <laughs> whether you're a only fans creator, you're a gym person, like even you've got a bite like a, a link tree or something like that, where it's like takes you to everything else that you yeah, do, yeah. podcast and all that. Like how do people not know that now? We're in twenty twenty two. It's been it's pretty crazy. Well yeah, and and you know, with people with guys like, you know, people that do what you do, I think it's always fairly obvious that they're you know, that there's an OnlyFans attached, like that, that, that that's what's happening. Yeah, right? Like it's cause it is such a common thing now for people to have. It's pretty, yeah, pretty, I don't know if you'd say saturated, but there and are. how else are you eating at those restaurants? How else are you eating at those fancy <laughs> restaurants? Like he's got to be making his money somehow, so, yeah, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so what about your family? What do they feel about this uh, new career path for you? Yeah, so they didn't know about it. And I was, went back to Australia, like, a month ago and because I'd started doing the um I think the the whole the proper studio stuff so I signed with like one of the I signed with the biggest male it's a, it is a gay porn studio so because they like mm-hmm. they, I don't want to do I don't want to do, I don't ever want to do straight porn for a studio just because I've heard so many bad things stuff and like being a guy in a straight scene it's like you're just a dick right you're just there and the people they're like you should be happy to be here. Like, that's how they treat you. That's how I've heard. So I'm like, I don't want to be that. Right. I, I want to be, I want to be the main focus. So when I do gay stuff, yeah, got I'm, it. Totally. I'm the main focus in all that sort of stuff. So I'm like, so I do that. And then after I did my first scene, it came out and I was like, wow, this is like legit now. And, my, and I was like, should I, I was like, I'm in an arm where I should tell my parents. I'm like, oh. I'll tell my mom. Mm. I won't tell my dad. You know, and then we got, to, we went back to it. We went back right. to him like for the first time in like three years, like a few months ago. And I was just like, well, mm-hmm. so me and my mum went for coffee and I was with my partner actually. And I was like, Hey, like I'm doing this now. Like blah, blah, blah. I told her about it. And she was like, Oh my God. She was so proud. She was so proud of me. She obviously, she's like, can't look at what I do and stuff like that. I show her some photos. And yeah. Like the scenes, like stuff that are PG. But she's so proud. And she's like, I think you should tell your dad. I was like, mm, I don't know. Because my dad's very, um, <laughs> like, stricter and whatnot. But when I told right. him, he was like, I don't know. He was happy. He was, he was happy, you know. Like, Good. I don't know what it is. Like, yeah. Which is. Yeah, that's so interesting. It was interesting for me as well. I didn't expect to get such um, positive feedback from him. And. But they're happy, and we're yeah, our relationship's still good. We still talk all the time, and hmm. yeah. Um, I actually have a, another question about the physicality of, you know, when you when you when you have sex on OnlyFans or uh, for this studio thing that you've just done, versus when you have sex with your partner, do you notice that it's very different? Yeah. Like, is it's not the same because you're not thinking about where the camera is, so you don't consider that at all. Like, how different is, like studios you know film sex versus it's so much sex. different it's so much different even like but sometimes with so with studio stuff maybe i'll do like sometimes you'll do like three four five positions and like lots of oral in between mm. that and it goes like 15 20 minutes but like i think many people are having sex for that long in normal life you know like even even like yeah, five, no way. six minutes is like you're like oh that was how long that was like an hour you know what i mean like <laughs> So yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. You do like one or two positions, or like start starts with a bit of oral, where you both you like your partner goes down on you, you go down on your partner, and then it's like it's on. So it's it's a lot more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot different. It's a lot different, and like you said, there's no cameras on. There's no this. You're not thinking about anything else. You just you're so like yeah, there. Yeah. At the moment. 
Mate, um, it's been great talking. Um, I won't keep you any, for any, any, uh, any longer. I just wanted to ask um, if you had a lesson. I ask people here sometimes, if you have a lesson that um, if you were to leave the world today and you had to leave the world with one lesson, what do you think it would be? Tough one. I think one would be like not caring so much about what other people's opinions or judgments are on you because like at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, no one really cares that much. Like they can say what they want, but like at the end of the day, do what makes you you happy sort of thing because like we're only here for a short amount of time and it's like you're going to find the right people being naturally you and you're going to attract those sort of people into your life and like it'd just be better rather than being fake, I think. You know what you've inspired me? I should start an OnlyFans. <laughs> I love it. Um, no, mate, I think that's a great lesson and I really appreciate you coming on and giving me your time. Jay Kocic, the tongue of TikTok. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, man. Pleasure to meet you finally. And yeah. Pleasure. Bye, guys. Yeah, man.